hottest spring on record. Not now was a short-term trigger for a long-term global warming caused by humanity. Climate change is now affecting every country on every continent. So great. Currently our world is dying, dying along with the future. Our greenhouse gas levels are at an all time high as the amounts of carbon dioxide in the air are higher today than at any time in the last 650,000 years. Right now our oceans are growing in heat and acidity every second. With 27 years, 85 days, 12 hours, 49 minutes and 22 seconds, 21 seconds, 20 seconds, is the time left until no more fish are in swimming in the sea. Right now worldwide about 2 million plastic bags are disposed every minute. The average time a plastic bag is used is 12 minutes. However then it takes a thousand years to decompose. Right now our world is dying and yet we're still not doing anything to prevent it. An environmental catastrophe has been declared off the coast of Mauritius. On the 25th of July 2020, the Japanese cargo ship MV Wakashio ran aground on the coral reef off the eastern coast of Mauritius. All 20 crew members on board the ship were safely airlifted back to the shore. However, it's estimated that a thousand tons of oil have now leaked into the Indian Ocean. A 15 kilometer stretch of coastline is now smeared with oil. The situation is critical because Mauritius is a biodiversity hotspot and the impacts the oil now has on the natural ecosystems and environments within Mauritius is devastating. The affected locations and beaches are complex ecological systems that interconnect both with land and sea. So, the mangroves, seagrass meadows, coral reefs and the beaches affected can no longer support their roles in the environment, leading to the destruction of the natural relationships within Mauritius. The short-term effects of the oil spill are already obvious. A green heroin has been found oiled, whilst critically endangered hawksbill turtle found dead. But beyond the environmental consequences, there's still a human impact. The effects the oil spill has on us and our future. But when we say future, how far and how soon should we be thinking into our own? Four million vessels plough the ocean in search of a catch. whilst fish species across the globe are being removed at a rate that cannot be naturally replenished by our oceans, as biodiversity around the world dwindles. Rainforests will be destroyed and cut down to the point where they no longer produce enough moisture as the Amazon rainforest turns into a dry savanna.
leading to the loss of millions of species and the altering of the global water cycle. impacts of climate change become irreversible as 1.3 billion tons of plastic manage to find its way into the oceans as the summer ice in the Arctic completely vanishes. Frozen soils in the north begin to thaw, releasing methane, a greenhouse gas that is a lot more powerful than carbon. Climate change has increased dramatically. Coral reefs around the world die as the ocean's acidity and heat levels rise. All fish populations disappear as a domino effect empties the oceans, leaving behind nothing. Agriculture and global food production is at a turning point. Soils used to farm are exhausted from overuse and all pollinating insects perish, leaving behind dwindled resources. And the weather becomes more and more unpredictable. Majority of the earth is uninhabitable. Sea levels rise, covering existing coastlines and reshaping the continents. It is estimated that one million people will be homeless due to environmental catastrophes. The average temperature within our atmosphere has risen four degrees, making it almost unlivable for all species. When we look back on our actions from these days, right now, in the future, what do you want to say to your kids and to your grandkids? Tell them that we did take the right actions and steps in order to create change and create the world that they live in right now, or have to explain to them why we didn't do anything while there was time to act and why the world they live in is so damaged and the future, our future, is in our hands.